Welcome back to Educator.com. This is the Life Science course, and today's lesson is on the history of the cell. Today's objectives will be, number one, what are the differences among microscopes? Number two, what are the parts of the cell theory? And then number three, what are the discoveries that led to the cell theory? Let's start by talking about the history of the microscope. The microscope is the instrument or tool used by scientists to magnify very small or microscopic objects, things we cannot see with the naked eye. Uh, magnifying lens is something that magnifies or makes an image of something um, many times larger than what it actually is. And, uh, the very first microscope basically was a magnifying lens placed in a very long tube that focused uh, the light onto a specimen and produced an image of that particular uh, object many times bigger than what it naturally can be. Now, uh, there were two scientists that helped to usher in basically the study of uh, microscopy or uh, microscopic organisms or microscopic objects. And the first one was uh, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, and he was considered to be the father of microscopy because he invented the very first very simple microscope. Um, it was made from a glass lens, and again, the glass lens was a magnifying lens that made things bigger, um, and he attached it to a tube um, and a plate, and this is actually a picture of his very simple microscope. Uh, the lens is here, um, and then um, there was a place to hold whatever object he was wanting to look at here, and um, he basically as a very simple microscope, um, but he was able to see the, uh, for the first time, he was able to see single-celled organisms or unicellular organisms such as bacteria, yeast, and protists. And he actually noticed that they were living things and he called them animalcules, which is a cool kind of funny name, animalcules. Um, because at the time, of course, we hadn't identified all of those structures, all of those different organisms that we have now. Another very important scientist to the uh, study of microscopy is uh, Robert Hooke. And Robert Hooke improved upon uh, Van Leeuwenhoek's uh, very simple microscope. His was simple too, but it was just a little bit more refined. Um, he used um, an eyepiece that had a lens, a magnifying lens, and it again was attached to a long tube, and he also had like a stage or a plate where a specimen was held. And his um, microscope had an objective which had a particular magnification on it, which helped uh, him to see also very uh, small objects. Um, he actually looked at a piece of cork, similar to a cork that you uh, would use to bottle up wine, and he took a piece of it, he cut a sliver off, and he was able to see the pores of that cork, and he looked at that and he said that uh, these pores should be called cells because they reminded him of the rooms or cell blocks where monks sleep in a monastery. So that is where we get our, our name cells from. Robert Hooke actually coined that term cells. 